to none. Bringing home a championship has been a struggle for our professional franchises here in D.C., but one local team was able to tackle the challenge in 2015 and received a special invite for their efforts. Our Chris Miles has that story. <laughs> It's validation, right? It's just that we finally feel like you made it. Winning a second national championship in a decade is a good stamp of approval. That's exactly what the DC Divas accomplished in their undefeated 2015 season. In all, felt like a deserving feeling. Just shot, took my breath away. The Divas doubled down on their awe-inspiring, breathtaking experience on Easter Sunday when they had the opportunity to visit the White House and take pictures with POTUS and FLOTUS. I, I just stared at them the whole time. I think I had auditory blockage. I don't think I heard a word they said. I just was so in awe, but it was a moment I'll never forget. How close <laughs> did you get to the president? Were you, were you this close? Oh, yeah. Like, right? What was that like? You, you're um, uh, Mr. Obama and Michelle's there. You took a picture with them, and um, you know, they spoke with us for a few minutes, and, and you know, and hugged us and shook our hands. It was awesome. Going to the White House, meeting the President of the United States, that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for most. But for Divas linebacker Paris Smith, it's just another day at the office. Well, without getting too much into detail, uh, I do work in IT. So, uh, yeah, some of the things I do can't really go into it, but uh, definitely help support the data and infrastructure at the White House. Paris is a bit secretive about her services in the White House, but she isn't coy at all when discussing the Redskins, actors, and larger-than-life basketball players she rubbed elbows with on Easter Sunday. Shaq, we had the cast of Blackish was there, um, some of the hosts from The Real, uh, guy from Chops was out there, we saw Dominique Dawes, we wasn't expecting to see her, uh, who else? It was, it was a definitely a nice, we had some uh, NFL players, um, some of the college teams from the area were out there, so I mean, you yeah, know, it's a nice bunch. The Divas have proven to take the field with a nice bunch as well, with a roster full of former elite Division I athletes ranging from softball and basketball to track and volleyball. This group of national champions should have more visits to the White House in their future. And congratulations, well done. It was a move we've been expecting for weeks, and now when Terrapin has made his future plans official, that and more next on Guidance What's That's